And now, First Warn 5 weather with meteorologist Matt Holliner. Welcome back. Time for an update on the tropics. And there is something to watch, but it is way, way out there. So this is Africa, and then this is that area to watch. So it's a long way away from the U.S. But notice how it does have a circulation to it. And it's looking like a fairly healthy system, though it doesn't have a closed circulation right now. We think there's a good chance that this will at least become a tropical depression. And probably a lot of the models say it's going to be a tropical storm in a few, a few models even say maybe even briefly becoming a weak hurricane. Notice the chance of development is 60%, but notice that the chance of development for the next two days and the next five days is the same. That's because though we do think this is going to develop, and right in here, conditions are perfectly suitable for a tropical storm. As it gets into the Caribbean, there's some dry air, there's some wind shear, so it may develop, but a lot of the models are saying it's going to fizzle out in the Caribbean. No models bring it to the U.S. right now. It's still very early. It's still way out there. Things could change, but right now, this does not look like a threat to the U.S., but it has a very good chance of adding yet another name, checking it off to the list. If this one gets a name, it's going to be called Josephine. Already our J storm again. This is be the earliest J storm ever. We've been doing that a lot this year. And look how far we've made it on the list already. Nine storms. This will be a number 10 of the season. And we think there could be a lot more to come. But fortunately, no threat to us. The last thing we need is another system to come over us. And no signs of that anytime soon. Got to say there's a small chance of rain, though. A few showers and storms are going to pop up today. Most of us are just going to see partly to mostly sunny skies, though. Highs around 96, but it's not going to feel that cool. The feels like temperatures are going to be around 104 this afternoon. There will be a little bit of wind, a light breeze, 10 to 15 miles per hour, but not much. If we're going to see rain today, it's probably going to be in the early afternoon. It's probably going to be in Cameron and Willacy County. There, I'll go with a 20% chance for seeing showers and storms. Outside chance the sea breeze might overachieve and push into Hidalgo County, maybe northeastern Star County, but I do think it's a smaller chance of what we're going to see in Cameron and Williston County. And today the sea breeze is too weak. Once you get to La Jolla on I-2, don't think it's going to happen. They're going to stay completely dry today. Everyone dry tonight, mostly clear skies much of the night. Eventually skies will become partly cloudy late tonight. A warm night with lows around 79 and the wind not completely going away, but not much. Just 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow looks almost identical to today. I've got to keep in that 10% chance for seeing showers and storms. Best chance early afternoon, best chance near the coast. Probably a degree hotter though. 97 and feeling like 105 in the afternoon, so still a pretty good pool day. I know it's just Monday, but looking ahead to the weekend, largely dry. In fact, I think Saturday is going to be a completely dry, mostly sunny day with highs around 97. I'll bring back that 10% chance for a few showers and storms on Sunday, but I do think most staying dry. A breezy day, but still a hot and very humid day. Feels like temperatures still in the triple digits. Michael?